YouTube, this your boy down low back with another reply. This one is that Lil Wayne, Chris Brown, Rick Ross, Nicki Minaj. Take it to the head. And you know what? This track is actually pretty interesting. I kind of liked it. And it shocked me that they're actually trying to put out a female friendly type song. Like usually DJ Khaled just puts a whole bunch of dudes on a song and just says spit. But this song is catered for women to actually like it. And with that beat being as good as it is and having Chris Brown singing and all of the famous people on it, women are going to eat this up. Get this played on the radio, in the clubs, anywhere. They gonna eat it up instantly. Now, the video was interesting. Like, I believe what they did was they filmed it at, in a ride at Universal Studios, which I've never seen that done before. That's actually pretty smooth, even though it has nothing to do with the song. If you listen to it, man, like you can tell, there's not many good lyrics going on here. Lil Wayne did okay, but pretty much the overall topic that they were all trying to rap on, it was one that you really can't expect that many hot lyrics from anyway. And lastly, at the very beginning, it's like DJ Khaled tried to spit just a little bit, like for two bars, just trying to see if he can cut up on the track and say something. Don't even think about that shit, Khaled. Stick to saying we the best. Stick to shouting niggas out who's actually doing something on the track. And another thing, they dropped a video of Don King basically trying to promote up the Kiss the Ring mixtape album, whatever you want to call it, from DJ Khaled. And that was a little ridiculous. Like, you can tell by how Don King was talking about it. Like, when they first approached him to do this, he probably said, who the fuck is DJ Khaled? But when they threw like $30,000 out, I'm like, oh, DJ Khaled is the best. I mean, that sounded like a good idea to get Don King a classic promoter to help promote you for your album or your project, but didn't come together too well. But honestly, they probably paid way too much to not put that shit out. But anyway, on to today's article. And today's article is about moral victories. Like, a lot of rappers out there, a lot of people say there is no moral victory, man. You got to do what you do, and you lose if you don't get it. And this is not all the way true. See, what you got to realize is moral victories are not there to please you. They're there to keep you pushing. Me, personally, I did a lot of things before I got to this point where I'm doing a video every day. And a lot of the things that I did fucking failed. It went down in fucking flames. But the fact that I seen them bitches all the way through to the end, to I couldn't do anything more with it, it helped me develop the mindset that I have right now to go at this every day and not give up. See, there's a lesson, a moral victory in anything, no matter how bad it is. You can learn to get better. Learn from your mistakes, get better, and then one day down the road, you'll come up with that plan that'll push you over the damn top. 